My name is Nelson, I'm 52 years old. I reside here in Miami, Florida. I'm from here, Pinecrest. I'm married. I have actually two kids from my prior marriage. And from New York originally, born and raised. So for a living, I do hospitality management, which requires a lot of me, which means it's pretty much I'm at work between, you know, 10 to 12, 14 hours, depending on the day. As a hobby, I'm a big golfer. Love golf, golf and fishing, love the outdoors, love camping, you know, pretty much anything that has to do with outdoors. The day of the heart attack, it was about maybe 6.30 in the morning or so. And I was getting ready to come to work. You know, I told my wife, hey, you know, that, that feeling kind of like, right, feel that discomfort in the chest. So right away, you know, I kind of knew, I was like, hey, you know, honestly, I'm, I'm gonna die. I feel like I'm having a heart attack. That was literally my words to her. You know, dial 911 because I'm having a heart attack. I got in and they were already hands-on waiting, you know. Nelson was having chest pain for at least two hours before he came to the hospital. At arrival, he was having an anterior wall myocardial infarction, meaning that the artery to the front of the heart was closing down. As a matter of fact, he arrested in the emergency room and we had to resuscitate him. He had a ventricular fibrillation. And we took him to the, heart, to the cardiac catheterization immediately because we know that the best therapy for patients like him is opening the artery opening the main highway, put it that way. And that's what, exactly what we did. We kind of neglect everything. You get caught up in the whirlwind, and you neglect yourself, you know? To things like this and things like this, to wake up cold. I think overall there was a quick response into the hospital, the EMS, as soon as you got there. From there, being treated, you know, it was amazing. Our goal is to treat patients who come with heart attacks and get the artery open within 60 minutes. It's actually two lesions and involve this, the branch and the main vessel. First, we put a balloon with the two wires, two wires, wire, wire, balloon, opening the artery, get flow uh, across. Then we put a stent, once we get flow, we put a stent to cover this. And then we put two balloons, one balloon in the main, on, inside the stent, and one balloon in the branch, and we do what we call kissing balloon at the, at the bifurcation. This is the final result after stenting the LAD and ballooning and kiss balloon in the diagonal. You have flow, Timmy flow three in both, but you don't have any blush in the muscle. There's a new form of therapy that is called super saturated oxygen therapy in which we infuse through the coronary high flow saturated oxygen that is beyond the concentration of oxygen that you have in your normal blood. We do that for an hour. And now, look at this. Now you start seeing blush. Microcirculation improved dramatically. He was the perfect candidate for this. So we used it, we did it. We were the first in Florida. One of the largest number of cases in the United States. And the patient did fantastically. Three days later, the muscle of the heart was almost completely normal. I feel great. Again, I've, I've lost, you know, 34 pounds. You know, when I walked in here, it was 210 pounds. But now, you know, I'm able to actually jog where before I wasn't. You know, I'm doing two to three miles, five times a week. You know, I incorporated totally different, you know, routine for my way of eating. Today, I feel, you know, pretty much honestly, I would say a good 99% out of the whole process. Nelson today is doing fantastically. He's totally asymptomatic. His muscle has almost completely recovered and he has a normal life. Considering the way I was, this was like a family away from home, you know? We are the forefront of technology and the forefront of innovation and we can provide the ultimate care. Because of the new process and because it was done so quick, it's the reason probably why I'm here pretty much I own my life.